this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to crochet this lovely shawl. Aliza has released this, I believe, six months ago. But today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, it took me a while. So uh, all you need is one ball of yarn. And this ball is about 250 gram, I believe. But I don't have the Aliza. So I'm just going to use the yarn that I have in my stash. And here's the picture of it being open. So you need to do, you need to chain total of 106 chain. And then on each chain, we're starting from here. So 106 chain. And then you need to, I am doing double crochet. Okay, and then uh, I just wanted to show you this stitch. I just can't believe it. A couple of months ago, I have... Uh, posted these pictures uh, that uh, this is actually my mother's um, nightgown she had and it's uh, my grandmother made this over 70 years ago and then I just couldn't believe that Aliza released the same well it looks like the same stitch so uh, my grandmother she crocheted this years ago from my mother can you see it? It looks like the same stitch. It's very, very close. And I was planning to make a shawl or a cardigan and then Aliza released it. So thank you, Aliza. <laughs> so I had this in my, uh, I had these pictures over 10 years ago. I took the pictures and I post this on my Instagram on March. And then I found out Aliza has uh, posted the picture uh, of uh, how to crochet. And if you want, I can put the link here. This is the link how she shows, but it's really hard to follow because she's trying to uh, show it in 10 minutes and it's impossible. So I am going to show you how to crochet this. This lovely, lovely shawl or poncho either way can work she used the uh, ombre 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 yarn i think that's how you pronounce it ombre o m b r e you can buy these yarn on etsy there's lots of people selling from turkey these yarn so uh, here are the instruction it's aliza angora gold ombre yarn you need one ball and then you need to use a three uh, millimeter crochet hook 106 chain and then it tells you this is the pattern but it's in Turkish, so uh, I'm not going to translate it. So I'm just going to do the uh, tutorial with you. So let's get started. This is the yarn that I have in my stash. Uh, I did a tutorial with the other patterns, but I, I didn't feel the yarn was suitable. So I'm sure this would be working with this uh, uh, pattern to crochet this lovely, um, with this yarn. It's 100% cotton. And then uh, it's, it's, uh, it says it gives you all the details here so I'm just going to use up the yarn if, if I don't I have a gray 100% cotton that I bought this is I bought from Hobie, Hobie from Denmark so uh, let's get started so what I did is I already chained 106 and I did my double crochet so I continue doing that all the way so after doing 106 chain and then doing the double crochet what you need to do is you need to chain three and on the first you're going to make a double crochet okay and then again so this is the try to chain as loose as you can I use the chainless foundation chain method without uh, chaining I just started to crochet so try to may have it as loose as you can okay and then we're going to chain three try to and again, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm trying to work as loose as I can to do this uh, tutorial with you guys. Okay, so after chaining three, we're going to skip two and on the third, we're going to make a double crochet. Again, one, two, three chain. Again, skip two and on the third, we're going to make a double crochet. So we're going to create those V's here and on the next we're going to make another double crochet and on the next we're going to make another double crochet. 
and then we're going to chain three and then we're going to make another double crochet on that same chain that we did on the same double crochet that we did and on the next one we're going to make so we're creating these v's again so on the next one we're going to make another double crochet so we made three double crochets three chain and then uh, on the same we did another three double crochet but uh we did the first one on the same so this is how it looks like Okay, so we did our first. Now we're going to continue making one, two, three. Skip two on the third, make a double crochet. One, two, three, three chains in between. Again, skip two on the third, make a double crochet. And then we're going to create this V now. One, two, three. Skip two on the third, make the V. So on the next one, double crochet, and on the next one, another double crochet, one, two, three chain. Okay, don't forget we do the same double crochets on the same double crochet here, and then on the next one, and on the next one. Okay, so we created our second V's that we're making. Okay, so we're going to continue making total of nine all the way to the end. So uh, this is how it looks like. The beginning is like this, so don't don't worry about this. But in the middle, there should be one, two, three fill fills fillets that you need to make, and then we're going to continue chaining one, two, three, skip two, one, two, three was my marker just to uh, show that how many I needed to chain more again one two three skip two on the third make a double crochet one two three skip two on the third make the V well the me V I mean this like this is the V and then we make three double crochets just like this one, two, three. And don't forget, the, the last one and the first one is supposed to be on the same double crochet. So I'm going to let you crochet all the way to the end and I will meet you at the end and we will start the next row. Okay, so I'm at the end here. I did my V. I did three chain, skip two. I did my double crochet, one, two, three. So right here, I'm skipping two on the third. I'm going to do two double crochets, one after another, just like this. So we're finishing how we started. See? It's exactly the same. And then after that, we're going to chain one, two, three. Turn our work. I didn't take this off. Okay, so on the top, I'm going to make two double crochets on each double crochet, just like this. Uh, well, no, then it would be three. Yeah, I did it wrong. Okay, so, so this is considered as one double crochet. So I'm going to the next double crochet and making my... Uh, double crochet so I, we should have a total of two just like this and then we're going to start our new row okay I just went back and um, I got confused I'm sorry so uh, what I did here is uh, I'm supposed to have a total of nine but I have one two three four five six seven eight V's so I need to have total of nine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to frog and um, it looks like here we need to do the trick because we're losing um, double crochets here so I will come back to show you because we are short of one V it's not gonna be good so we we did one double crochet so we're gonna do to just to save 
space we need more uh, to make another V to make our ninth so this is how we do it so we do two double crochets on each on each okay so we have our three we're gonna chain three and then uh, we're gonna make another double crochet on that same so we're gonna make two two so I'm gonna jump to the next so we're gonna be saving I believe two double crochets to make the ninth and I'm sure this will work it gives you the same method but we're doing two double crochets on each as you can see two 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 and there's a three chain let me show you one more time so one two three we skip two on the third we make a double crochet one two three chain and again we skip two on the third we make a double crochet one two three Three. again we skip two on the third we make two double crochets then we go to the next one to make the third and then we chain one two three to make the V but again we can come to the same double crochet and then we make another double crochet and then on the next double crochet we make two double crochets so this way it gives you the same look but it's a trick it's a technique oh my goodness two three yeah three chain so I'm gonna repeat skip two on the third we're gonna keep repeating this so at the end you should have total of nine of these so we have one two so we should have total of nine of these V's to start the shawl poncho whichever you would like to wear it and I will be back to start the next row Okay, so I finished the row and I have total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is how it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna start the next row. As I said, I chained three and I went to the next and I made a double crochet. So we're going to chain another one, two, three, and then we're going to be crocheting right in between this box here, and then again one two three chain and then i'm going to skip all the way where the double crochets is the three double crochet and i'm going to make double crochet on top of each double crochet just like this okay now we're going to be increasing this v to give that nice look so one two three so in this between this three chain we're going to make three double crochets just like this two Three. chain three again and again we're going to do double crochets on each double crochet sometimes my camera gets blurry so I have to press it to focus <laughs> okay so again one two three okay now we have three boxes here so i'm going to chain i'm going to make one double crochet in the middle here so we're decreasing this part but we're increasing the v <laughs> again one two three chain and then again i repeat what we do all the way to the end so three double crochets on top of each double crochet one two three chain and again three double crochet in the middle to make the increase again one two three and then three double crochets on each double crochet okay again three chain and then I go between where the three boxes are in the mid middle here. The two double crochets here, just like this. One, two, three. And I repeat right what we have been doing. So I'm going to crochet all the way. And this is how it looks like. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm almost finishing this row as well. So I did my V here. I did my increase. I did my three chain. And I did, so I'm going to skip here and here I'm going to make a double crochet right between here. 
Again, I'm going to chain one, two, three, and then I'm going to make two double crochets here. So one top of each, this is the edge, and then on top of this here. Chain three, and we're starting the next row. So automatically I go and make a double crochet here. If you want, you can make three, you can make four on this edge. It's up to you. Okay, so I am going to, I don't know what happened here, didn't look right, <laughs> so I'm going to chain three, so from here I'm just going to skip, skip all the way here, I'm not going to do anything here, so I'm going to repeat, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make three double crochets on top of the double crochets here. Just like this. And then I'm going to chain three. And then on here, we're going to create new V's. To do the new V's, as we did here, I'm going to do the same. So two double crochets on each double crochet, but there's three chain in between. Okay, just like this, one, two, three, and then make my second double crochet, and then I go to the next one. So in three double crochets, we make total of six double crochets, but there's three chain between just like this. So we are doing this thing here. We are repeating it. And then I'm going to chain three. And then make three double crochet. One, two, three, and I'm going to jump all the way here and then make my three double crochets. And I'm going to repeat what I did here. So this is all to it. <laughs> it's so easy, actually. But to figure it out, that's the main thing. One, two, three, and then make three double crochets, the total of uh, six double crochets. One, two, three, and then go to the next double crochet and make two more. One, and then here. One, two, three. So I will continue crocheting all the way to the end and we will start our next row. And I will be right back. And don't forget, you jump all the way here, that you don't do anything here, what we did. You skip that part. Three. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the row, and this is how it looks like. So every row I crochet, <laughs> it becomes magnific magnificent. Okay, so I did uh, the beginning again. And I did my three chain. Now we're going to do a double crochet between this three double crochet here. Just like this. And we're going to chain three. So we created this part here. Well, that's what we're doing. We created that part. And then automatically I'm going to jump here. And I'm going to repeat what we did here. So we're going to make an increase here. After making three double crochets on top of each double crochet, chain three, and then three in between. And this is how we do our increase. Two, three, three chain. And again, on the same, we make a double crochet 
on each double crochet. We make our three chain just like this. This is how it looks like. Then you put it down. So we're going to repeat these all the way to the end. Okay, so after the three chain, I come between this three double crochet. We're increasing here, but we're decreasing this part here in the middle. One, two, three chain. And then automatically we jump here to make our double crochet. Again, one, two, three. And then I can come to the double crochet and make my three double crochets on top of the three double crochet. chain three and then make an increase of three double crochets and in that three chain three chain and then make three double crochets on top of each double crochet again one two three and I jump all the way in between the three double crochet here and make a double crochet three chain and then come between the three double crochet and then one two three chain and then repeat three double crochets on top of each double crochet and then make my increase again so I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end and I will come back to show you how it looks like Okay, so I'm at the end here, and uh, I do my last double crochet. I did the double crochet on top, and then I make the two double crochets on the edge. So, just to show you how it looks like, so we're going to repeat what we've been doing. So we're going to repeat all over, over and over. So we're going to repeat what we have been doing, just like this. See, we have one, two, three here. Now we're going to have one, two, three. We're going to have five. And then we're going to do our increases every other row, like here. Can you see that? So on this one, we're just going to do this regular V right here. And then on the next row, we're going to do our increase. It's just to repeat one after another. So we have created the two. Remember, we did here. So we're going to repeat what we have done here and then this is all repeat one after another so the more we crochet the more we're going to have these increases so here we have three this one we're going to have four and on the following we're going to have four five six it's going to increase like that i'll be right back to show you part two